you, Michael. After 11 weeks of a new sort of government, do you think we're seeing a new sort of politics? And do you think this sort of government is going to last? Well, my own view has been for a long time we are going to see minority governments and coalition governments a lot more frequently in the next 50 years than we, see, we saw over the last 50 years. I think this particular coalition government is working at the moment remarkably well. Uh, there's very little dissent on the Liberal Democrat side. More dissent actually on the Conservative side from the Conservative right. And of course, uh, there are a lot more uh, Conservative MPs who are in a position to rebel proportionately than our Liberal Democrat MPs. The real crunch, of course, would come with the, uh, the Comprehensive Spending Review, when local government, local council have to implement 25% cuts next year, uh, the AV referendum and so on. It is going to be a rocky two or three years. But my view is that this coalition will probably last at least three years, maybe the full Parliament. The interesting thing is then what happens? Does it carry on beyond the Parliament? Is there an element of a, an electoral pact uh, at the time of the next election? So many unknowables here. So do you think the AB referendum is going to be the making or breaking of this, or do you think it's just a little bit more long they have? I doubt whether it would be the making or breaking of that. I, I, it's difficult to say at the moment which way the AB referendum will go, um, because, uh, I mean, the Conservative Party is overwhelmingly against AV, although, actually, let me qualify that, it's pretty much against AV, although there are people around Cameron, and maybe even Cameron himself, who wouldn't be too disappointed if it went through, it is said. Um, Labour is, is split pretty much 50-50 on it, although it's officially Labour policy. So, the, the, in terms of the big parties, they're quite hostile to AV overall, uh, and even the Lib Dems don't really believe in it, they believe in you know, a proper proportional system. Uh, and it's going to be difficult, on the other hand, uh, for the opponents, I think, of AV to sum up, you know, what is the, the slogan that, 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 that against uh, AV? So it could go 50-50. But I think if the Liberal Democrats say, oh, well, we've lost AV, we're pulling out of the coalition, well, that would be a uh, disaster. It's inconceivable because, um, uh, A, it would look, uh, it would just look childish, I think, on their part. Um, but I, nonetheless, I think the Conservatives have to be careful in the way they oppose it. They've got to be... Um, uh, although they can be robust, they've got to be careful not to be um, unpleasant. Uh, it's got to be a, 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 a quite a, uh, a good-natured um, referendum campaign. So one last question. When we had a session here earlier on the way in which the media was adjusted, people, including Kevin Marsh from the BBC, said actually the media found it really hard to adjust for the first month and just sort of missed where the public were and failed to get the tone of voice right. Do you think this is actually going to create a different approach in the media? Are we actually going to move to a mat more mature way of reporting politics so people can cope with disagreements and the things people are saying at today's session? Or is it going to go back to the same rift splits, etc.? I, I think one of the interesting aspects of the Cameron government, um, and I think this probably he probably would have attempted this anyway, even if he hadn't been in coalition, is to be a little bit more relaxed about the fact that, you know, other people in the party might disagree with me on, on this question and, and so on. Whether the media will allow uh, greater relaxation and will be um, less willing to dive in once they see the slightest fissure in, in government policy, um, I rather doubt. Yeah, sure, it, it, it has taken some accommodating, some getting used to. Uh, most people, hardly anybody who works in the media remembers a coalition government in this country or has experience of it uh, overseas. And you've also got to remember that in the period immediately after the coalition, most of us were so exhausted after six months of election hearing and so on, we didn't have much time to think. Um, so it, we are getting adjusted to it, particularly in the broadcasting field, where in the old days we'd quite happily go and have a, a you know, three-handed discussion, say, on Newsnight, one from each party. Well, actually, if we carry on doing that, we're going to be accused of being unfair because we will have two, member, two government supporters and only one opposition supporter. So how do we handle that? How do the broadcasters handle their coverage of the autumn conferences? Do they give the same amounts to Labour, Lib Dem and Conservatives as they traditionally do? It's a difficult one, that, particularly in later years when it's getting close to an election. But no doubt they'll think of some way of uh, dealing with those uh, formulae. Okay, Michael, thank you very much.